So let's get started with this video. First we are going to create zeros matrix. So let's say if we put A is equal to zeros. And then, sorry, we'll give size of matrix. Let A zeros matrix can be used to mask certain region of an image. And this can be done by multiplying the original image with matrix of a zeros. Now we'll go for another matrix and that is the matrix of ones. Let's say we'll make it three cross three. So here we'll have a ones matrix of three cross three. Ones matrix is basically useful in the situation where a constant matrix is required for scaling or offsetting other matrix in algorithm. Even this ones matrix is useful in logical operations. This ones matrix can act as a true matrix where all the values are treated as logical true. Now we'll go for third type of matrix and that is identity matrix. So let's say we'll create a three cross three identity matrix. In this matrix, basically we'll get diagonal one and the rest of the elements will be zero. This type of matrix can be used in solving linear systems. Even this can be useful in eigenvalue and eigenvector calculations. Now we are going to create another type of matrix. Let's say D will be equal to DIAG for diagonal. So this will be a diagonal matrix. This matrix is similar to identity matrix, but in identity matrix, all the diagonal elements are one, whereas in diagonal matrix, all the diagonal elements are the elements which you have specified. Or you can say your specific element will be placed in diagonal elements. You know, these diagonal matrix are frequently used in scaling transformations, where each element of a vector is scaled by corresponding diagonal entry. Right? So here multiplying factor would be 1, 2 and 3. Now we'll go for next type of matrix and that is random matrix. So we'll write E is equal to R, A and D. Sorry, D. And uh, let's say we'll make... Now we'll create one more matrix which is similar to this but a little bit different. The command to create that matrix is R A N D I. This command will also generate a random matrix but the difference here is here you can specify minimum and maximum value. Let's say minimum value is 4, maximum value is 12 and we are going to create a 3 cross 3 matrix, right? So all the elements of this matrix will be in between 4 and 12 and all of them will be integer. Now we'll go for the next matrix and that will be G is equal to magic matrix. This magic matrix has the special property that the sum of the elements in row and in column or in diagonal will be the same. You can even check this with magic 4 also. So these were the different commands using which you can generate varieties of matrix in MATLAB. So see you and we will meet in next video. Bye bye.